You reap what you sow. Dr. Mill with maybe a little bit of a different video, at least a different uh, format. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm reminded of this agrarian concept, right? Whatever you, you know, whatever you sow into the ground is what you reap. Whatever you plant and, and tend to and water and, and take care of, you will get to reap. Now, the, the issue, though, is it takes time. So if you put a seed in the ground and you plant it and then dig it up in 10 minutes, it's the same seed you put in the ground. Uh, if we apply that to you know following a good diet and exercise routine, it's it, and conversely not doing one of those things or both of those things, you can expect over time to reap what you sow. Many times people get sick and they wonder well, what happened. Now there are you know unfortunate circumstances where somebody has been taking care of the body with exercise and with diet and they still get sick. Okay, I'm not discounting those cases. But for the most part, we know in the research literature, from the research literature, that this concept of reaping and sowing is a good one. Now, there's a commercial uh, a couple years ago. It was, I can't remember what they were even advertising, but it was an individual that was, you know, the idea with that, you, I think it was a, maybe a financial commercial, that, you know, you have to keep following through. You have to be consistent. So this person had a blueberry in front of them, one blueberry, and I, you can't just eat one blueberry on one day, and, it, you know, that's what's going to make you healthy for the rest of your life. So that's good news and bad news in terms of, not the blueberry, but good news and bad news in terms of reaping and sowing and with our health. The good news is, is that you don't have to be perfect. So if somebody planted some seeds, not every one of those seeds is going to, you know, come to fruition and, and be, you know, be harvested. As long as you're consistent over the field, it'll grow. And if it grows, you know, you have an abundant harvest and you'll be fine. On the other side, though, if you don't plant, if you don't take care of the field, then it just remains barren. And you can expect that over time. Nothing good's going to result from it, right? And so, in a, in a, I see this many times. I work with clients. It's this idea of, well, I did this for twelve weeks, I'm good. No, you have to continue to tend to this farm. You have to continue to tend to this field. If you if we stick with the analogy, um, you know, our mindset has to be adjusted to to tend to the field. Again, the good news is you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be you know in your and you're tending, you don't have to be perfect all the time. You just need to be consistent. And over the long haul, over the long haul, you'll see the gains in muscle mass. Over the long haul, you'll find yourself lean down. One cut did, maybe didn't get you where you want to. You need to, you need to lose 45 pounds, and you lost 12. That's great. If you want to lose the other, you know, 33, uh, 33 pounds, I had to remember what I said initially, uh, you're going to have to stick with it. You're going to have to maintenance and you're going to have to lose weight again. But if you do it the right way and you tend to it, your mindset is changing. And in the end, you're far better off than, more, than when you first started. Uh, but that takes devotion. And many times when people look at those that have been successful with their health and their you know, aesthetics, uh, you know, of, and their strength, and their, it's just because they've been doing it a long time. I'm a pretty muscular guy. I'm in my 40s now. Um, but I've been lifting weights since I was nine right and I, not all the time not always you know perfect uh, but i would have been consistent over the years now, obviously when i was younger not as much as i did in my 20s and i don't lift not near as much as i did when i was in my 20s now but i still lift and so over time i gained a lot of muscle mass and I, even though i'm i've gotten older and i've lost some of that muscle mass i haven't lost all of it uh, but that took time. If you're 40 now, if you're 50 now, if you're 60 now, you're like, well, I, I didn't do any of that when I was younger. Well, it doesn't mean that you still can't start to sew in, into your body. You can't start to sew into this process of getting stronger, of getting bigger. And the research literature supports that as well. It's never too late to start sewing. But if you don't, if you continue in the path you're in, then you, can, you, know, you won't expect to ever see these results. So it's a commitment. You have to say, I want to change my body. I want to change my physique. I want to change my health. And it's a commitment to do so. It's not a vending machine type of approach. We live in a world where everything is so convenient. But in, you know, many things that are worth doing and that are long lasting and that have those long term benefits, they require work. And so I just, this is more of an encouragement to all of you out there. And, and again, just working with clients. And this is kind of just, I see this many times in discouragement that can arise. From you know the results not coming as fast as we want, but I can tell you, having worked with hundreds and thousands of people at this point, that the ones that stick with it are never disappointed. And knowing again, they're not going to be perfect, and you don't have to be. 
but the ones that stick with it are never disappointed at the end. And they're the ones that people point to and say, oh, how did you do that? Is there some sort of magic? No, there isn't. I mean, if you want to call discipline and just consistency magic, sure. That doesn't mean they didn't have a month off of vacation or they had a bad holidays in 2017 or whatever. They just were consistent over time. And eventually they saw the changes in their physique that they were looking for. Some a little faster than others, but it still took time. I hope you found this video encouraging, not a scolding, but an encouraging. Maybe a scolding in some ways. If, if you're in this, this loop of, of struggle, um, it could be that you're just not letting the seed grow. You're not letting the, the harvest grow and you're trying to reap something that isn't there yet. It's just going to take time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it. If you like uh, exercise and sports science and strength conditioning and nutrition science, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm releasing videos all the time in this area that we enjoy talking about and thinking about and, and working towards all the time. So uh, if you have any comments, disagree with me, you're upset at me, um, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to take a look at them. I hope you all have a good day and I will see you in the next video.